welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is olive Kirote, and today we are back with another video so in case you haven't watched my previous video please go watch the video because it's somehow linked to this video six what did last year teach you kai last year taught me one thing and i think i'll do this on the vid on my wednesday's videos you guys actually yes now i'm gonna do a video of five things that 2018 taught me that i feel like everyone should take account in their life so that's the, the video that's coming up basically um i wrote um five things if you like this video i'll do a part two of other things i learned in 2018 but for now i'm gonna highlight five things that i learned in 2018 lesson number one ha lesson number one this is how i had to put it habit puts you on autopilot that's my first lesson let me explain what i mean you know when a plane is on autopilot basically you've already keyed in the destination and the plane is just going that's why when you wake up it's autopilot for you to either make your bed or say a word of prayer or even just brush your teeth so basically habits make us on autopilot but this is what i learned now in 2018 there are two types of autopilot there is a positive autopilot and there is a negative autopilot so basically the positive autopilot is whereby you have calculated thought in everything you're doing in the sense that you wake up and you're like oh if today is a new day what are we going to accomplish so if you're a calculated positive autopilot person every day doesn't just pass by nah you know when i wake up today this is this and this and this is what i have to accomplish to reach my end goal if my end goal is to lose weight for example then every day i'll be having a positive automated piloting in my head whereby I have a morning routine probably i have to eat clean you know i have to take my water i have to reduce my junk and you're aware of it but then that's the thing most people live on negative autopilot whereby days just go by if you even ask them what's the one thing they learned on that day they're just gonna look at you like uh, i don't know what i learned pretty much the day just started and it ended so that's one thing i learned in 2018 shifting from a negative autopilot state of mind to a positive autopilot state of mind whereby i don't just wake up and because i don't have class i just watch movies all day or series all day or just eat junk all day nah is i have goals in my mind that i've even written down and i know for example if my main goal is to have a clean regimen then i'm aware that everything i'm doing that day has to include clean regimens habit puts you on aut autopilot things you do repeatedly if you repeatedly get used to eating a cupcake after a meal in three years it will be hard for you to stop eating a cupcake after your meal so basically what i'm trying to tell you guys is make your autopilot or rather the habit that puts you on autopilot to be positive because it's going to get you to success your goals in life and you'll achieve your dreams in life yes lesson number two act like you trust everyone but do not this is the biggest i think one of the biggest lessons i learned in 2018 i would act like i trust you and then end up trusting you nah you act like you trust them but then don't don't trust them yo 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 there are only two things you need to trust in life it's god above and yourself and i'm not even trying to say this in a bad way yes you can trust your mom you can trust your partner you can trust but like i'm trying to say this in a more sane clear state of mind you know um last year i got to be around people who seemed to be this type of way but in real sense were sketchy don't take what everyone tells you to be the the truth about it so olive you know we have this deal hey, it's lucrative you know i want you to help us maybe just um invest this amount of money we're gonna make a lot of money you trust this person because like ah oh, man we've been buzz for like two years or three years and then you invest the money boom god or someone comes and tells you hey olive i've seen a nice place they're selling nice cars i'm gonna hook you up just call this number don't trust everyone there are few you could trust there are few people you can keep in your close circle but still don't put all your trust on them like you know the more you put your trust on someone the more you let your guard down and the, the more you let your guard down the more you don't see 
when someone is constantly maybe manipulating or lying to you you actually don't see because you're like 100 percent this person is legit and guess what they ain't so i want to come back to this point but please if you're easily trusting people when you go out and you're drinking and you black out at anyone's house in the name of ah these people are loyal they're gonna take care of me huh and also guys in this point for don't trust anyone basically i'm just trying to say if anyone gives you maybe an idea or a business thing or they want to be your friend find the negative in it first don't just see the positive and then you're excited and you're here jumping and you're like oh this is lead i trust them now nah, find the negative first and then it's going to help you like see if this person or if this thing is actually legit so yeah the third point you guys I, can you tell that i'm very sensitive with this topic like that's how you know i learned this ish anyway experience is the best teacher ain't it lesson number three is rushing cloud judgment slash listen to your gut <sighs> is there times I should have like no it's not like i don't know this you guys it's not like you don't know the proverb haraka haraka haina baraka you know it let me give you a story i mean if you haven't watched the how to how my car was stolen then i mean please go watch it that's partly the reason why i'm saying rushing clouds of judgment there are so many times last year that maybe if i just didn't rush maybe if i wasn't in such a hurry maybe if i could have taken my time to actually think then i would have not made the decisions i made that ended up messing me up don't make decisions when you're in a rush it causes you to do error you really don't think about it there's really no time and then you're convinced you're doing the right thing which is bad someone is actually rushing you to maybe um confirm a business deal someone is rushing you to write a check about something or they're rushing you to just that aspect of rushing that you don't even think about it please don't make hasty decisions great haste makes great waste that's my slogan for 2019 if you're in a rush to make anything just know you're gonna lead yourself to error and then you're gonna make waste so exactly great haste makes great waste so the fourth thing i've learned in 2018 is if it's too good to be true ah then it's not true all that glitters is not gold yo. someone comes and tells you hey oh yeah i've seen this business deal it works you just invest i don't know 10k in a month you're gonna make 30k so you're gonna have 40k you get back your 10k and 30k profit just look at that person like huh. or someone comes and tells you hey bro i've seen their houses in runda going for 20k per month but imagine like the rent is 20k Bruh. Or someone comes and tells you, yo, I've got this new car, you guy. New car. I've imported it. It's a Toyota or it's a Paso, I don't know. And guess what, you guy? He's selling it for 350k. Really, nigga? Yo. Yo! Listen to me. If it's too good to be true, then it's not true. This is just something I had to learn the hard way. If clearly you know a house in Runda does not even go anywhere close to 20K, even if it's rent or whatever per month, then why are you in a rush decision? See my other point to get it. Obviously, a new Fielder or a new Toyota with a maybe 800cc engine cannot go for 350 Gs. Bruh, what car are you getting? Like a brand new car? that's a lie so basically don't be clouded like that's what i was saying rush decisions like cloud your judgment don't be clouded with things that look so good and so shiny please let me tell you today on my channel my name is olive nikirote and i've gone through this so please if it's too good to be true it's not true please that, that that's it just be like okay sour thanks and move on most of the things that you see people enjoy is because either they've hard work or sweat generational wealth or you know passed down don't look at people or don't look at things in the name of i want it easy or you know if i just do this i'm gonna get money quick or if i just do this i'm gonna get it better or no nah nah we're not doing this in 2019 or ever my last point is your worst enemy is fear yes so this is one of the more positive things i learned in 2018 
I learned, yes, it's good to make risks, but don't just risk. And in the sense of risking, also be open to stand up and face your fear head on. I had fear of starting YouTube, I had fears of starting my businesses, I had fear of will they pick up, will they grow, you know, will this be worth it? Am I just putting time and energy and effort over something that I really don't know if it will work? But that's the thing, the fear just, start, literally this is you, it's, you, I've ever seen you guys that picture whereby someone is digging and then they just gave up when the diamond was just right behind there. Like you're even wishing like you could tell them, just dig on. It's just one more bit, like you gave up too soon. What you fear doing most is actually what you need to do. If you fear starting something, deep down that's what you actually need to do because maybe that's your big break, maybe that's where you're gonna be a millionaire from. Like, why are you so afraid to doing it? Literally, this life is too short, first of all. You can die any minute and then you're gonna die and then maybe you're on a deathbed on, or maybe you're sick or just at home, I don't know, any type of death. And then you're like, hey, brah, man, I really wish I started that music career. I really had faith in myself, but I just didn't do it. I was too scared. Like, what fun is there? But then would you rather be on your deathbed and you're like, hey, yo, at least I tried it. I, I, and I mean, I tried, it worked. Someone would be like, I tried, it failed, but I tried. And I mean, I'm happy I did. Like, I'd rather that than seated and I'm just like, hey. If you wanted to be a rapper, if you wanted to be an artist, if you wanted to be uh, a musician, if you wanted to be a YouTuber, if you wanted to be a businesswoman, if you wanted to be a cook, if you wanted to be a chef, if you wanted to be a, uh, a what, like everything, what, what are people, if you wanted to be a salesperson, if you wanted to be a CEO, if you wanted anything, but you're only not doing it because you're fear, if you're too scared to do it, at least start, and if you're still scared, just fake it till you make it pretty much so anyway guys i'm done with today's video um i hope it's not too long but i really wanted to tell you guys the five things that were heartfelt that i really learned in 2018 hardcore habit puts you on autopilot just to choose the right autopilot you want to be in two act like you trust everyone but do not trust everyone please don't trust people it's not easy to trust people but at least act like you do um three <laughs> his no, haste clouds your judgment. Yes, being in a rush clouds your judgment. Please, please, please follow your guard. Don't be in a rush. Great haste leads to great waste. That's number three. Four, if it's too good to be true, it's not true. So please, all that glitters is not gold, you guys. If it looks so good, ask yourself 10 times and ask yourself 20 times, why is this so too good? Like, why is this offer so good? What, I'm gonna make all this money from this more investment? that's how you know it's not true and the last thing that i learned is the worst enemy in life is fear do not fear you take your risks you grind you hustle you wake up you trust yourself you trust the lord and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you don't fear until the day you lay to rest but then don't look back and ask yourself why I didn't do it. So anyway guys, I'm glad that you are back here on my channel. I think 2019 will be more of the lessons I learned in life. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to even include more people on my channel to come give their stories. I love you guys so much. And don't forget to like, um, share, comment, and subscribe. Please, 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 it makes my channel grow. It helps me as a person also in creating my content. And I really appreciate you guys. And in case any of these lessons touched you, please let me know down below. I really would like to know which lesson from these lessons touched the most. And also, if you don't mind, please let me know the lesson you learned in 2018 that you'd like me to, 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 to take into action. Maybe it's keeping time, because that's one lesson I really need to learn. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And yeah.